Hi, I'm Gary, and I'm going to be talking with you about selecting a residential furnace and air conditioning system. We'll be going from the beginning process of sizing and also then moving into how to actually do the installation and offer some uh, tips on putting the system together once you get it home from the store. So the first thing that you want to do, whether you're putting in a new system or replacing an old system, is verify that you're getting the proper sized equipment that's going to work for the application. And uh, we've been around a long time. We've tried to simplify that process for uh, uh, the consumer and uh, also for the associate that works at a home center to be able to get the right size equipment. And so we do that by uh, having several different charts. Um, some might be for the uh, air conditioning and heat pump selection, uh, also for our 80% efficient natural gas furnaces or gas ready furnaces, uh, our high efficiency furnaces which run from 95.5 to 96% and also our electric furnaces. What you're going to do is determine the location where uh, the customer lives. So for instance if we're in Columbus, Ohio uh, we would be located in the white zone and that would uh, what we would want to do is find out that square footage and look at what uh, like let's just do for example the furnace first so let's use the square footage of 2300 um, you find, and we're going to do the high efficiency uh, 95% so we'll come down to the third chart We'll look for the range uh, that contains 2,300 square feet. And then once we determine that range, then you go off to the right-hand side, and it will give you the BTU size of the furnace. And in this case, it ends up being 100,000 BTU. That's the furnace that we're looking for. Once you determine that, then you can turn to the inside and locate where that furnace is. It just happens to be up here at the top and we're looking for the 100,000 BTU input and then this gives several of the specs and dimensions and openings and whatnot of the furnace. And this is helpful because a lot of times whether you're putting a new or a replacement it's going to be you know you need to have that size to make sure that uh, that sizing information is important so that when you're doing the replacement you'll know how it'll apply for the application whether you need to be uh, cutting down a plenum uh, a lot of times in a new house, since it's pretty much a, a blank slate, um, you know, it's going to make it a very easy installation to get all the equipment in there. Now, if we go back and we use that same 2,300 square feet, and we're going to add air conditioning, and again, we're in uh, central Ohio, and we, we're in this white range, and we find this 2,300 square feet, and going over to the right, that would determine that you would need a three and a half ton AC system uh, to match up for that 2300 square foot application. When you determine that ton size, uh, you need to select your condenser, your coil, and your line set to make up your AC system. Um, the chart will show you, based on the ton size, the uh, condenser model, and then when it comes to your coil, you've got a few different options to match things up. What differs about these coils are the width that uh, would match up with the furnace or air handler. So you want to select a coil with the same width as the furnace. As far as the line set is concerned, you want to make sure that you ch choose a line set that is uh, long enough to go from the inside coil to the outdoor condenser allowing for any bends. Depending upon whether you have a quick connect system or a sweat system you have different line set lengths available. Primarily they come 20, 30, and 40 feet.